Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about five things that we always get asked about when we're installing decks. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Okay, probably one of the most asked questions. Doctor, what is on your neck? And I know I've talked about this in several videos, but it keeps getting asked over and over and over on our Instagram, on our stories and all that stuff. So this is called a pencil pull. It's made by a company called Magno Grip. Magno Grip. So it's a Magno Grip pencil pull. It basically has a magnet on the back. It comes with a metal striker plate that you can clip to your shirt or your hoodie or whatever. And then the magnet just sticks to it. You hear that? Okay, so what you do is you take your Dr. Dex pencil, right? And you make sure that's facing out so it's always in the shot, right? Okay, the only thing I don't like about these is the color. They're yellow. So they should make them black. I, I usually cover them in G-tape, but I had to use a new one the other day and I hadn't G-taped it yet. So that's number one. Okay, number two. Look down. See those orange things? Those are called, well, they're deck spacers is what they are. They're made by a company called Deckmate. I don't know if you can read that. Deckmate deck spacers. These are also put out by Azek. So if you're an Azek Platinum Pro, you might be able to score some of these from your local dealer or your rep, okay? One side has an eighth inch gap and the other side has a 3 16 inch gap. We pretty much use that 3 16 inch gap all the time. These come in really handy. As you can see, we are laying a 20 foot wide deck. We have enough spacers to do four deck boards all at the same time and it keeps our deck nice and straight. And now I know you're asking, well, doctor, how do you keep all of those spacers tight? This is called an Irwin quick grip clamp. But on top of that, these are the heavy duty Irwin clamps. On top of that, we're using an Irwin deck kit. I don't know exact terminology of it. Calvin, you'll probably put a picture up of it. It's like an Irwin, it's a kit that comes with two of these little clips. These clips go over the top of your clamp and then allow you to use them as a, as a compression tool or as a spacing tool. And you can use them in between the deck boards. So you cinch on them and it makes your deck tight. Okay, if you need to spread, you can also use them as a spreader. You just gotta flip your clamp around. So we use these quite a bit as we're using them today. Uh, and that's how we are able to keep four deck boards nice and tight and in straight lines. So as we're laying the decking, we may get a spot that's a little too tight. So here's another tip for you, another item that I use quite often when I'm laying decking that I get a lot of questions about. I use composite shims. These are made by a company that I, I don't know, I buy these at Home Depot, they're in the shim department, they're next to the wood shims, but they're a composite shim. So if I have a spot in the deck that's too tight or it ha I have a, a, a dip in it, and I need to bring it out a little bit, I use these shims. I'll put them in, in between the deck boards before they're fastened. Obviously these are fastened, but you get the idea. And I take them all and I put them all in like this. Then I push them down equally and I give it the gap that I need to straighten out the deck. These come in really handy when you're trying to keep your deck board straight and you just can't use the same orange spacer to get it right. If, if you tighten all your orange spacers and you got too much space, then I'll go back and take my shims and I'll start adding them. Okay, obviously we got too much space here. So I'm gonna cinch this down. Okay, now let's say I don't like the line. If the line is too tight right here, I'll take my shims and I'll go in like this. And you can kind of see the shims will tell you which gap is tighter than the other gap. If these shims aren't all at the exact same height, they're pretty close. But if they weren't, then I would either shove one down or pull one out to give it a little bit of tension or take a little bit of tension away. But now that these are in, I can back off my clamp a little bit and you can see how they drop. And then I wanna equal these out to give myself the same gap. Obviously these aren't gonna work right now. But that's okay if, if I need to give myself extra shim. And I can take these all the way down to where I have it so that I can give it maybe a quarter gap in this one area to make my deck work the way I want it to. To make it look the way I want it to and to give it the right line. 
Okay, our fifth item on our list that we often get asked about, what type of impact driver do you use? We primarily use a Metabo HPT 36 volt triple hammer impact because they're IP56 rated. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining right now, okay? With all this rain, we want something that we can use when it gets totally wet. These drills, day in and day out, 365 days a year, we use them, they keep asking for more punishment. They're soaking wet all day long in this rain and they just keep performing. So I, that's why I like these drills. That's number five. I got one bonus for you as well. One more that people ask about all the time. And that question is, what kind of lumber is this? I guess people on the East Coast have never seen this. They've never heard of it and they don't, they don't know what it is. And that's okay. This product is mostly available west of the Rocky Mountains. It's called pressure treated hemlock. And they ask, what are these little lines in there, doctor? Those are called incisions. And what incisions do, it's a knurling machine that has these all these fingers on it. And they knurl the material and it helps press and force the treatment deeper into the lumber. So if you look at a, a side cut, you can see the treatment's only going in so far. But that's why they knurl the boards and size them they also make pressure treated lumber without incisions for appearance grade, but for most of our framing, this, this is actually a better treatment. There's a bunch of uh, jibber jabber on here, ground contact, limited lifetime warranty, exterior wood incorporated in Washougal, Washington, and it's AWPA U1 UC4A. Whatever that means, hip hip, hooray. All right guys, that's six different things that we use that people commonly are asking us about while we're installing our deck boards. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.